I'd like this. No, no, don't fall over, Mr. Tripod. This is, that is not what your job is. Okay, okay. So, I like to start this video off by saying, first of all, camera adds 10 pounds. I swear to God, I've never seen, well, I mean, I have seen it, but I haven't seen this double chin in like a year. Okay, and um, this is what I look like on the weekends, even though it's not the weekend, it's Friday, but I skipped school today because I woke up this morning and I was really, really, really depressed for no reason. It's like, oh, school. And I have to interview with a college today. And, you know, Sydney did get me that college spot. Oh, also, I'm about to say that I'm still wearing this shirt. I wore it yesterday and I'm still wearing it. And I haven't washed my face either. You see that? I have not washed it. Okay. Anyway, let me move on to the college stuff now. Okay. So, since, okay, listen, look, see how it, what had happened was, um, she got me a spot with this college. I didn't even know what college it was. I think it was, it wasn't Pratt. I don't even know. But I didn't show up to it because I, 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 uh, I didn't want to go to school today. I was like, oh, oh, school is so disgusting. And I had Friday drawing. I didn't even go to, I wouldn't even have gotten to go to photography or painting class. I would have had to go on to uh, Friday drawing, which I have. Virginia, and if anyone knows the teacher of Virginia, I had her last year, and even though she's a nice teacher and all, I did not like her class because she just had us draw these seasonal things, and I drew a naked woman coming out of an egg, and I'm like, it's springtime. Anyway, that happened. Back to college. See, look, I'm off my pills. You can tell. Back to college. About college. I didn't go to the interview today. But last interview I went to for, today's interview was for SCAD. Remember that now. I don't remember what the one, I don't remember the one who liked me. They liked me, but I don't remember them. If I felt like I could go and get my wallet, no one cares what college liked me. I don't know why I'm trying to say this to the camera. You don't care what college it was that I got interviewed by the other day. And they were like, oh, ho, ho, you're, you're going to be a graphic designer. Even though you think you're going to be a photographer, you're not. You're a graphic designer. You're not a photographer. Well, I mean, you are a photographer. Very good photographer. But I feel like since your, your things that your, your concepts are so weird that you need to incorporate graphic design into your photography. So you'll just have the words right there so people will know what you're actually talking about because they can read it instead of having to look at it. <sighs> yeah, and then he was like, oh, cause your other graphic stuff that you did, and you only have two of those in here, but they're really pretty. I really like this one, and oh, I really like this one, and there's, there's only two of them, so I only like these two. And no, he, uh, he liked my other stuff too, but, you know, he was a sculptor. What does he know about graphic design? He knows nothing about, well, I mean, of course he does because, you know, he was, he's telling me I was good at it, so he has to know something about it, but anyway, 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 Diana. I love her so much. I do. You know why? Because in the Bible, it says that you have to love everyone and that's why I love her but no seriously she's just like me I knew if I was in her position and I had to deal with me I would be mean to me too because I'm a bad student I'm not a, I skipped school today because I didn't want to go I was like I'm sick to my stomach which I was I was sick to my stomach but I'm usually sick to my stomach or have it there's always something wrong with me anyway Anyway, look at my hair. I wish it could permanently be like that. I wish I had something that I could use that wouldn't make my hair look gross, that I could do weird things with it with, but I don't... Anyway, I feel like I need to change my shirt, because you can see right through this one. Jesus Christ. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> hmm. So, colleges. Uh, Sydney, who is my wife, she um, told me, uh, she was like, you need to make more videos because you were a bitch and I want to see if you still are one. And I feel like now I'm self-consciously trying not to be a bitch. 
but I don't have anything to be bitchy about. Wait, I, I, I do have stuff to be bitchy about, but I can't say it because what if someone hears me? What if someone hears me and then they tell someone else who could kick me out of my school that I'm in? That would not be good. I would not be happy about that. And then I would regret this video. And I don't want to regret things because regretting things is for regretful people. I don't like these. Yeah, I do. They cover half of my face. <sighs> so, I don't actually talk this much in real life, do I? Yeah, I do. I really do. I really do talk a lot. And I do it to entertain myself whenever I'm not thinking. Um... Hmm. 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 <laughs> I'm in a good mood for no reason. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotta say something mean. Gotta say something mean. <sighs> Truly, you're a you're not anything bad. It's, it makes me angry. You, you're a sneaky little, sneaky like a snake. You're sneaky. You're just like me. How can you be so sneaky? And, but, see, the part that makes me angry is the fact that you, you're like, no, I'm not going to date him just because he just wants to have sex. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I'll pretend like he doesn't, and I'll just hang out with him and pretend that he actually likes me for me and not for that. But you know. So, what what are you doing? Are you like subconsciously allowing me to intrude on your relationship because you think that he's getting what he wants from you, from me? That way you don't have to give it to him, and at the same time you get to keep him. Does that make any sense? Because I'm not giving him anything. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? What's wrong with you? What what's what, what's going on here? You're messed up. You shouldn't be in my situation. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? When you started talking to him, I told you, why are you talking to him? You shouldn't be talking to him. I dated him. I'm not supposed to be talking to him. I'm allowed to talk to him. You're not. If you talk to him, you're going to turn into me. Look at me. I'm a mess. I am ranting about my personal stuff on a camera. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So, anyway. <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> my mom's like, go make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And my little brother's like, we don't have any bread. <laughs> and I just heard it. <laughs> uh, my family's really dysfunctional. That doesn't even illustrate that at all, but they kind of really are. Dysfunctional. We're a dysfunctional family. <laughs> Ow, I just stepped on something sharp. I'm making art out of nails in a tree. Do you want to see my progress? I know you do. Because all the people that go to governor school with me are going to look at that and they're going to go, ha ha, she thinks she's competing with us now, but she's not. No. Um, this is my art. Can you see it? I don't know if you can. It's going to have a lot more nails on it than it already does. Um... But yeah, that's my art. And this is my my corner that I'm filming in. And this is my face. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, so. So, so, college. So, I went to Portfolio Day and, um, a different state in Philly, in Philadelphia, Philadelphia. I went to Philadelphia and I went to the college of portfolio review thing. And so Micah was like, uh, you could keep this and get rid of this and keep this and get rid of this. And he didn't like half of my stuff and the other half of my stuff. They didn't tell me why they liked it. And I was like, lady, why can't you be like that black guy sitting right there who was like jumping up and down for this kid or that really strange white guy sitting right there who is being so nice and he has dreads and, and, and why why can't you be cool like them I mean I feel like I feel like she I feel like she should have been like a politician she was like one of those people who could have been a politician 
because that's what she looked like and that was her persona. She gave off this politician aurora thing. Aura. Aura? Is that what it's? I don't know. I don't care either. I feel like aurora is like, like the Pokemon move. So, yeah. They didn't like me. And then, so, we go to Chicago and, um... The woman there was like, blah, 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 this, that, the other. I don't like your still life. Don't put still lives in there. Why are you putting still lives? I'm like, because my teacher told me I had to put still lives because you weren't going to like me if I didn't have still life. And so I put in there one still life and she's like, ew, this ruins your whole portfolio. It's tainted because you have a still life in here. What are you talking about? She didn't like me because of a still life. She's like, your portfolio is approved. You definitely get into our college, but if you want to have a scholarship, you're going to have to do better. And it's like, oh, fun. I don't even want to be in your college now. I don't want to be in your college because you're a butthole. That's it. I, don't, I didn't connect with a woman, so I'm not going to go to her college. All the other people now are going to be just like that woman, and since I don't like her, I'm not going to her college. Way to be a good representative. You don't know. I could be a billionaire. I could be, like, rich, and I, you could be, like, my top college choice, and then you're mean to me, and I'm not going to go. I don't know how that would affect you in any way, but I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> then Paffa. Paffa, which is in Philadelphia. Um, I walk up to the thing and he's like, So, so, um, what do you want? Um What what do you want to major in? No, he didn't even ask me, could I wrote that on the paper? He says, Oh, so you like photography and painting? And I was like, Yeah. And he was like, Oh, you know, we don't have a photography program. I was like, no, I didn't know that. I just stood in line for a half hour. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. And he's like, oh, it's okay. I'll look at your stuff anyway. And so he didn't ever actually sound like that. He actually sounded pretty straight. But I feel like artsy men have to sound like gayish because cause I'm unethnical. Um. Yeah, so he looks at all my stuff and... He liked all of my stuff. He liked all of it. And he, like, critiqued certain things. Like, you know, you should change this about it, but I still really like it. And I really like how you did the concept. And this one's stronger than this one in the series. You should do more like this and do less like that. And he commented on all my photography. Like, all of it. Even though his school doesn't have a photography program. And I feel like I get along better with male interviewers than I do with female because I'm obviously a very intimidating artist. They're sitting there like, oh God, oh God, she's a female and her art is good. So she's going to come and she's going to graduate and then she's going to take my job. I have to be mean to her and run her off. That's what all the female interviewers think when I show up. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they think. And then that's how they act. And all the male ones are like, ooh, there's a picture of this girl naked in her portfolio. We want her at our college. That's, that's how they work. That's, that's how men think. That's how people tell me men think. I don't think they think like, yeah, they do. I feel like they might. I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't someone just tell me? Someone should tell me everything. I feel like they should. Oh. Why don't people just tell me the truth? Why do people lie about things? I don't understand. It makes no sense. You tell me the truth, and if I like it, then I like it. If I don't, then I don't. If it's the truth, there's no changing it. Uh, do all men think that way? I don't know. Do, I feel like, I feel like, the, ah, ah, I'm in such a good Mood for no reason. This video has been going on for 14 minutes. Thank God I uploaded enough videos and got enough views on YouTube to where they let me record for longer than 15 minutes now. So I can bore you for like an hour. Oh. <laughs> I didn't just fall or anything. <laughs> didn't knock over my hat collection or anything. <laughs> I didn't just put on my hat backwards or anything. <laughs> That would have been stupid. It's not like I keep missing the nail or anything. That would also be stupid. 
Anyway, let's see. What else do I have to talk about? Do you care? You don't care what I have to talk about. You hate me. The only reason you're watching this is because it popped up in your activity stream and you're just like, oh, I guess I'll watch Megan make a fool of herself on camera because I don't care about her at all. That tickled my nose. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even going to watch this video before I post it because if I do, I will hate it so much and I will not post it at all. I feel, okay, there's a song that I want to sing on camera, but um, I don't know the words to it. And even though I don't know the words, I don't want to learn all the words, but I love the song so much. And I feel like I want to sing it, but I'm not going to do it seriously. So I'm going to make a big fool of myself. Oh, I'm going to love this. I'm going to love this so much. I'm going to love not caring because I don't care. I don't care what you think. You know why? Because you can't sing at all. You can't even joke about not being able to sing because you suck. No, you don't. You probably be. You probably have a beautiful voice, and you should go to a school for singers. But you would be the best one there anyway, so it doesn't even matter. You could just go, and yeah. Anyway, I have stage fright. That's why I couldn't do it. Otherwise, I would have improved upon my abilities, and I would be like, like famous, but not really. Anyway. Cigarettes and chocolate milk. These are just a few of my cravings. I used the wrong word. Everything I like, it seems a little bit sweeter, a little bit hot, thicker, a little bit. I don't know the other word. If I were to buy jelly beans. Have to eat them all in just one sitting. Everything I like, it seems a little bit stranger, a little bit harder, a little bit deadly. It isn't very smart. Tends to make one part so broken hearted. I think I left out a part. And then now there's other things, <laughs> which for several reasons we won't mention. That went before that other part I just, ah, oh, that's what I did wrong. Well, I did several things wrong. Anyway. Can't expect the world to be your raggedy Andy while running on empty. Isn't very smart. Tends to make one part so broken hearted. Um. Anyway, I don't care. Anyway, anymore. Um, let me think. Hmm. Okay, so I had an English test, and I had to write responses. I'm in this normal English class. It used to be an honor, so they would actually expect me to know things. But now I'm in a regular English class where regular people are, so I feel like I'm better than the rest of them. That's the only reason why I'm in it. Plus, it's, I don't have to do as much work. Let me stand still. <sighs> so, I had to take a test. And in that test, we had to read two Shakespearean sonnets. We also had to read a couple other poems, but I don't even remember them. I just remembered one of them. It was a pastoral poem. And the guy was like, this is not exactly how he said it, but he's like, See my sheep that used to like to feed on the top of the cliff? They, they're falling down the side of the cliff, and they're dying in the valley. And that made me very happy. Anyway, back to the Shakespearean poems. We had to read Shakespearean poems, and then we had to answer questions about them. And it was sonnet number 51 and sonnet number 88, which apparently are both about the same thing. Now, after I started reading them, I feel like they were about the truth and how it doesn't die, how the truth is always the same, like how I was ranting about earlier. I feel like that influenced my rant somehow. Anyway... And it's basically like, yeah, you're going to survive through all these wars and all these arguments people have. And even though people, you know, be ignorant and hate you, you're still the truth. And so you're going to survive. 
and to be hated for many more generations. Good luck, my friend. And then Sonnet 88 was like, even though when I die, I'll have to leave this world, you'll get to stay and hang out here. And that's what I retained from that. But that's what I thought it was about. And at the same time, I feel like um, it took me like 20 minutes to come up with that hypothesis. And I know the rest of the class had to have gotten it wrong. If I was even right. Either that or the rest of the class was like, there's a very obvious answer and they all got it and I got it wrong. So yeah, this is my video. I think I'm done talking about myself now. I think. Um, I love you because the Bible told me to. Even though I didn't read it, I just know the Bible tells me to because someone told me in a song one time. And I believe everything I hear sung because <laughs> songs are always true. Oh, look! See, I can't even stop my video. I can't. It's been running for 20 minutes now, and I don't know. I have to show you my cool stuff. Look at this. Oh, God, no. Okay, hold on. Oh, why you gotta be messed up? Why can't you just behave like a normal wig? Why can't you just... <sighs> this makes me happy, even though it makes my head sweat. Yeah, I'm sure you needed that information. Hmm, okay. Hmm. 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 Hmm! I really hope you have not watched until this point in time, because <laughs> if you have, that means you've been watching me for 21 minutes and 34 seconds, and it just makes you weird. You're just weird for watching me talk about myself and sing a stupid song about cigarettes and milk. <laughs> or, or, milk. You know, and it's like, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you wasting your life? Listen to me. Oh, also, the one college that came and interviewed me at the actual school, um, the guy there who was, you know, also a male, because he liked me, so he had to have been male, um, he did a presentation, and Sidney and I were sitting on the stage and we were having a conversation about Pokemon because in their book that they brought with them with their student artwork they had um someone did like a, a squirtle but it had like weird ears on it or something and I was like hey it kind of looks like a like a war turtle and she was like no that's not what's a war turtle I was like that's evolved form of squirtle it's a squirtle war turtle bulbous not Bulbasaur oh god Megan <sighs> Oh god, I'm gonna forget, I'm gonna forget Blastoise! It starts with a B! Okay, Blastoise. It's, oh god, oh god, oh god, let me put this on, it'll make me feel better. Okay, 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 I feel better. Thank you, Pikachu. You're welcome, Megan. Okay, this is Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise. And Sydney was like, no, 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 no! No, it's not War Turtle. What are you talking about? Where did that come from? War Turtle's a different Pokemon. I'm like, no, I know what I'm talking about. And then the college guy is standing up here, apparently listening to our conversation. And Vic and Diane are trying to talk to him. And they're like, they run our program right there. And they're trying to talk to him. And he, like, stops talking to them and interrupts our conversation. Is like, no, you're right. It is War Turtle. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I graduated from college, I know these things. And we were, like, we were joking around and having fun. And then later in his presentation, he referenced our conversation. I totally want to go to his college now. Just because he went to it. And obviously they produce awesome people. Don't know where it is, though. I feel like it's somewhere where I don't want to go. I feel like it's in, like, it's on one of the Great Lakes. No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't even know where it is, you guys. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to stop recording now because if I don't, I'll start talking about... Oh, look. I feel like I don't want to shoot my camera, but I do. It's a good thing it didn't work then, huh? It's a good thing you're a pathetic piece of... Nerf. Doesn't even have good aim. Look at this. This is poo. Ow! <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? 
<laughs> Dude, that hit me right in the forehead. Oh, that's what she said. Shut up, you pervert. Yeah. Um, final summation. <laughs> Megan does weird things when her wife tells her to. Megan is also not gay. Contrary to popular belief and or opinion, because I suppose, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to end the video like that. It seems like a wrong way. Um, I should say something like witty and smart and witty and, um, I don't have anything to say though. I, I really, I don't have anything to say. So, um, hey look, what's that over there?